Welcome to this episode of Chuffed Adventures, aptly named Girl vs. Boat. And of course, we have a little bit of animal stuff thrown in too. just woke up after like a 12 hour sleep which was nice because it's been a um, long 40 hours of travel up until last night to get back to the boat but I'm back on board which is very exciting things look all right I'll show you guys around all in all the boat is doing well without us Joel has gone back to the States to see his family for a little while so I'll uh, be going solo for just a few weeks so be ready for that I think I'm ready for that. <laughs> yeah, so welcome back to Chuff. We come to our first problem. Let's see if it likes me now. No. It is not <coughs> pumping out. I suspect we have a blockage from the outside, so I'll go deal with that. I just pulled the uh, this all off, but I think I was worried it was a problem in the build pump because I um, cleaned the outside hole and it still wasn't pumping very well. But I always get a little bit scared getting into water here, so I just did it from you know up on deck uh, scraping. So I thought I'd either have to get in the water or take a look at that. But I closed the uh, seeker and then gave it a bit of a pump and boils up the pressure and then opens the seacock and I think hopefully I blasted out whatever was there so I'll put it all back together and then we'll uh, give it a test and with any luck it'll be flushing because it would be awfully nice to have a toilet on board Second problem is just got to get the gas connected. Now connect the gas. As it turns out, constantly clicking the lighter doesn't actually fix a gas connection problem. Hmm. Turns out I just had the silly little pin in the wrong spot, so I refitted it like three times and then was like, oh, maybe if I pull this this way, that's all it was. So it is now working. Gas and toilet on slash fixed, which were my main concerns, so that's really good. Both of our patients for the day were puppies of Sammy, who is already a mum again. So to try and prevent more doggies in this full house, 
We were castrating Blackie and spaying his sister Diabla. Their owners are really caring people and actually have eight doggies, so that's why we definitely didn't want any more. All of the original doggies in this house were rescue dogs. Oh, it's like cold. Do you want to see something last? Yeah. Uh, we just finished um, castrating our first little dog, and we're just going to spay um, one other. We were going to do Sammy the mum as well, but because she's still producing milk, we're going to wait maybe two or three weeks to do her. So one more surgery, and we're finished. You may have noticed to be my assistant, you have to be ridiculously good looking. I'm very lucky to have good friends helping me along the way. Oh, it's on. It's Look at this. Me. And Poppy was sleeping on it. I'm sorry. Did I just stare at you? Oh, you do so beautiful. Oh, you do it. strange. It's always a nice feeling to help the dogs and the peoples in the communities we visit. And we've met some really, really nice people in the houses and areas we've travelled to. Alright, so next job is um, starting the engine and letting her run for a little while. Going to look at doing some engine maintenance later in the week, but just wanted to start her up and make sure everything sounds and looks okay. Um, Alright, let's do it. So first thing I've already checked was that there was no water in the bilges. We had a tiny bit of water, um, fresh water in one of the bilges, which is probably just from one of the windows leaking a little, but otherwise they're nice and dry, including in here, which is good. So you can see there's actually quite a bit of air that I'm going to have to bleed out. So I'll bleed that out here first and then we'll try and start the engine. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Close. <laughs> That's not so bad. Alrighty, been getting back into the swing of things in boat life. It's been a little harder being by myself. Um, just, I've got friends and, um, you know, obviously Joel to talk through things with about how everything's going on the boat and get advice, but you still got to just do it all yourself. Um, yes, engine started well, but then there was a slight problem. Um, my neighbor luckily was out on the deck and he yelled out, Hey Sheridan, there's no water coming out um, of your exhaust. So I shut the engine off, um, checked that all the you know through holes were open and all of that um, going to the engine and then started it again and still no water. So I have a feeling that the intake is blocked. The um, filter looks really nasty so I need to have a look at the water filter in case it's just blocked there. But the bottom of the boat has the worst beard at the moment, so I'm suspicious that could be contributing. So um, I'm going to get that cleaned and then we'll go through some engine stuff again later in the week once that's done. Um, yeah, it's funny being back on the boat. I've actually got lots of new bruises and um, I'm actually quite sore. You know, I was doing yoga every day and stuff in Australia and I thought, you know, I was working. So I thought, um, you know, I'd still be kind of in boat shape. but just the muscles you use getting on and off the boat and into the little crevices and you know different things like that you don't even realize it look who's walking me home Riley are you a good girl? she's <laughs> a good girl she's a good girl I just rescued this little guy from the toilet so just being back on the boat is weird hi Bad little 
little workstation to do some video editing and photos. There's some cute little birds up here too. Oh. <laughs> a little can of coke and some trashy TV. It's like luxury when there's just a girl on board. I've got my shade strung up. Water lapping at the edge there. So I just went to get a can out. And there's a shitload of water in these bilges and there was definitely not water in there. Like, I don't know, two days ago when I got back. So I need to find out because it tastes salty. That's a fair bit of water. Like probably maybe a litre and a half. I just had a shower too. I'm in my nighty. Now I'm filthy. All right. And <laughs> that was a bit of a shock to my system. I um, think that the, I'm pretty sure I figured out where the water's coming from. God, there's literally things everywhere. Okay. <sighs> I think it's the salt water intake for the fridge. We're not even using it, but I did open the um, sea cork when we got when I got back, and I noticed on further investigation, it's quite damp here. And if you follow like the water trail, it kind of looks like it's hopefully come from here. So I've shut that sea cork, and around the back of this was wet. So uh, I'm really, really hoping that was what was dripping, and then it just got into our. Oh, bilge is enough. I'm going to just check it really regularly because I don't know quite how long um, it's been like that because it's potentially been, sorry, uh, it's potentially been um, like just today or it could have been the last couple days but I'm just trying to think. Today's Friday. I gave the bilge a quick check when I got home Monday night and then I did another one like two days ago, just a bit of a better, more thorough check of everything. So yeah, that's only in two days, like a liter and a half of water, which is a fair bit. And it tasted salty, so that was the bigger worry. Because if it's fresh water with all the rain, you'd be like, oh, it's a leak somewhere. But since it's salt water, it makes you worry on an aluminium boat that you've got corrosion that's gone through. So yeah, hopefully that was the problem. <laughs> Oh my god, this boat. Oh, I don't know how these guys that do it solo all the time do it. It's crazy. Good news, everybody. Oh, there's a piece of lettuce in the build, but there's no water. So I'm 99% sure it's, oh no, it's not damp, that it was coming from in here with the uh, salt water intake for the fridge. So hopefully now that that's closed, we'll be all good and I can look at um, taking that out and sealing it and fixing that up anyway at some point. But for now, dry, which is fabulous news. <laughs> if you could not tell, I was actually a little worried yesterday, so. Ah, boat life. I'll let you decide who won round one and join us next episode for round two of Girl vs Boat when we see if a veterinarian can become a mechanic. If you love the chuffed feeling, give us a like and check out our Patreon page to help us help animals. And until next time, stay chuffed everybody.